My name's Anthony Maroon. I'm a Rabbitohs supporter, Rabbitohs member of the football club. I'm born and bred in Redfern, so I have a long association with the Rabbitohs. And these days I work as a rugby league commentator for Triple M. And normally if I call a Rabbitohs game, they win. Woohoo! I've got a, a long history with the club. Certainly all my family were Rabbitohs supporters growing up in Redfern. I'm born into a time when the Rabbitohs were really successful. I'm born in 66. Well, they won the grand final in 67, 68, 70, 71. So when I was kind of, say, eight, nine, on the field, they weren't overly successful days. They were at the back end of the, of the glory days. So there was a couple of lean years in there through the back 70s, but it didn't matter. Like we were there on the hill with my cousins, my auntie and uncle. And uh, you know, being an old Redfern boy, you'd, we'd go down the road or we'd go and watch them play at Henson Park. They normally beat Newtown, so that was good. Or over to the old sports ground to watch them take on our old rivals, the Roosters. But you know, they were good days either way, really. As a kid, my favorite player was a winger that came to South in 1976. You know who I'm talking about. The Redfern Express, we used to call him. Terry Fay out there on the wing, and it didn't matter what sort of year we were having, Terry Fay was a star of the show. Fay's on the boil, look at him go! It's a My old man used to say, if Souths win tonight, we're having Chinese for dinner. So in 77, we only got Chinese three times, but uh, Terry Fay starred in all those games. My modern day favourite is Adam Reynolds. I know Adam, I know his family. And I always think you don't need facts and figures, you don't need to have stats to tell you when Adam's fit and playing good footy, we usually win games. You know, he is gonna go down in Rabbitohs folklore as, as one of our all time best. It's got the line, it's got the length, it's got the direction, and it's got the two points. So when the Rabbitohs got kicked out of the comp, you see, this is where I think the modern day Rabbitohs have as much courage and character as any of those famous eras, because if you look at the modern day Rabbitohs and the modern day supporter, well, they've been asked to do more, haven't they, than any Rabbitohs supporter. They've had to go on march to get the club back. We're at the bottom of the ladder for a few more years, then the world's favorite movie star buys the club. We get some good management, we recruit some great players. Now, we've won another premiership. We've been on the verge of the grand final probably another four times. And now people stop me in the shops and say, what's wrong with the Rabbitohs? They didn't win the Premiership this year. They didn't make the grand final. And I say, mate, do you remember when we came last and all we wanted to do was beat the Roosters and win the bloody Charity Shield? So this wonderful club has come further in the last 20 years than ever it did have. So I'm so proud to be a supporter of the modern club. As much as I love the history of the club, the true guts courage and character comes from the supporters and the members of the modern club, and I say that from the heart. The people that represent our club represent it very well. We are one of the biggest brands, not only in the NRL, but in Australian sport, and I get a great sense of satisfaction about that, because a lot of Rabbitohs supporters, for a long time our default setting was like fear and stress and having your back up. 2014 grand final, I made sure I had no work commitments. I made sure I didn't have to be anywhere and I got myself a ticket right on the fence um, just behind where Alex Johnson scored that first try. And I'll never forget that night because I thought if they make the grand final, I'd be happy with them just making the grand final. But when you get there on that night, you think, we can't lose this. And then when Arvar scored in the corner and Adam Reynolds kicked the goal, I said to my wife, I said, we're gonna win the grand final. And it was more a feeling of relief than it was jubilation. It was like the monkey's off your back. And then I was blessed to be asked to go and uh, stand on the balcony up there at the juniors uh, and welcome the boys in. And uh, I'll never forget uh, Lukey Keary coming up, out of, up the stairs and he grabbed me and he said, what the just happened? I mean, we come from working class backgrounds, don't we, as Rabbitohs supporters, but I think what we've been through in the last 20, 25, 30 years, we'll always have that little bit of battler about us, a little bit of killer instinct. There's something that we have as a group of supporters that other clubs don't have, and other clubs will openly say that. We've got people that fly in from Perth and Hobart and Darwin, and in some cases they fly in from overseas, yet some Sydney clubs their team's playing over the road and they don't bother going. One Sydney club complained about having to cross the bridge and our supporters come from everywhere. So I think we're all part of something special, something that's been there since day one. You could make a movie about this club. 
And for those of us who have been part of all that, with our children, you just can't buy that. You just can't buy what that means. So if you're part of it, if you're new to it, if you're old to it, I mean, it's what we've achieved in the last 20 years, I think, is as special as what's been achieved in the last 100.